Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you how to create a Genially. Genially is an app designed to create interactive presentations. First, you need to register with the email given by La Junta, educa.jthin.es. Then you log in and then you'll have access to the web you're looking now. Here, you're going to click on Create Genially and then you'll have access to the different Genialies you can create. These are different formats. The two most relevant are learning experience and gamification but these two are a bit complex. So today I'm going to be looking at the basics, blank creation. Now, you have different templates of how to present your information. I'm going to present my information from scratch. So I click on create. It loads. You have now a white slide that you are going to modify with the different aspects you have on the right. First, you're going to add an, a background. You can add a, an image, you can give a color, or you can pick any photos that Geniali puts at your disposal. I'm going to upload my own image. Now, these images that you see here, I've downloaded from Pixabay. Pixabay is a web that offers you photos of great quality and a, with a Creative Commons license. So I choose the one I like. Once the picture is in color, that means that it's already uploaded. So you click and it appears your image as the background. Now the next thing to do, I'm going to insert a recording. So for that, I'm going to click on the microphone and the recording starts to record. Now, as you see the numbers running, that means that recording is being recorded. So I'm going to stop. And now I'm going to add certain effects. Let me click there. And I'm going to add certain effects to the banner. Now, for adding the effects to the banner, I'm going to click on this button here. Now, I can choose the animation. For example, I'm going to choose that when the mouse moves over the banner, the banner is going to do an effect. And the effect I want is expand. You can choose from all these effects. Now, this other um, button is to design uh, the duration of your um, recording so you can shorten your your recording you can cut it or you can do whatever you want all right so now I'm going to include some smart blocks the smart blocks are um, another way of presenting some information I'm doing it very visual so I'm including certain images now these images I don't like them so I'm going to replace them so I click on one of them and I click on replace again you have these um, six different apps where you can uh, find some some photos but again I'm going to upload my own photo um, but these photos again I have taken from Genially so I click on this I wait and then I click again and I click on replace now here I can decide whether to cut or not the image I'm going to cut it down and once you have, or once it's ready, your photo, you click on the blue arrow. Now, um, what I can do with this image now is two things. I can uh, write something. So when the mouse goes over it, it a text can appear. For example, um, let me write different types, different ways of getting around Britain. Now, as a, a, a word, you can modify the, the letter by giving a color. I'm going to put it in blue, uh, giving a, a back to that letter, background to that letter. Uh, for example, I'm going to put this in red. Okay, um, now, I'm, and I can include also an emoji, for example, this one here. Now, again, you can modify, you can uh, play with all these um, resources uh, in the ways that you, you like. Just, uh, just experiment with all the things that you have here. And um, you can even insert an image. I'm going to insert uh, an image. Um, for example, let me, let me put this one here. From trains. Train station. Okay. Right, so um, that means that when I move my my mouse over the picture, uh, that text and that image is going to appear. Now I'm going to give certain effects again. Uh, I like the, the mouse and I'm going to put a heartbeat. 
Okay, so my Genial is created. Now these two photos, I don't like them, so I just eliminate them like that. Very good, and I move my picture here. Now the next thing uh, um, I'm going to add is an interactive element, and now this is what Geniali is famous for. I can include certain things, um, certain icons, and then I can link them to other pages. For example, I'm going to include a video from YouTube. So, um, so to include this video, again I click on the hand, and uh, I choose the link. Now here I'm going to paste the link I have. So I'm going to take this video from Visit England, I paste and I save. Now again, I give effect, I like the mouse and I like to zoom it. I'm going to place this here so that students, when they click, they have access to this um, video. Okay, uh, for example, I'm going to also add a, a web page here. So let me add this one the icon and again I'm going to link it. Um, you, I can write the link here in the text uh, for example um, read and discover how you can how you can travel around England. Now if I want the page to be shown in the same uh, place I just click on insert a link and I'm going to my page, I insert the link and that is what the students are going to be looking at when they move their, their mouse over it. So um, again I give an effect, uh, for example, a uh, wobble. Okay, so my Geniali is, I've already created my Geniali, very easy tool. Um, very interactive. Now you have the resources, which is also some things that you can also add images if you like, and a text. Uh, I'm going to add a simple text, for example, trains. Now, this one, uh, this text, you can also modify by the options you have above. So change the letter, for example, uh, bangos, and change the color. I'm going to put it in white and you can also center the um, title. Okay, my geniality is created. Now to save it or to see how um, before I publish it, I have to click on the eye. So you click on the eye, you preview it, you name it trains, you save it and that is how it to be look and that's the look that it's going to have um, when your student have access to it. So you click on them on the recording, um, the YouTube link, you can click on them again, uh, or for example, this is what it appears by clicking on the photo. So once it's set, um, the only thing I have to do to save it is click on all set, and then um, click again on all set. You have to give it a title, and that is how you create a Geniali. Now to share it, uh, you click on share, you copy the link, and you go to Teams, and you put the link. So this is how you create a Geniali. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.